Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three separate things. And the first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar today or Madame Nazar's location. The second thing that we're actually going to go over is all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it and show you where you guys can find Madame Nazar for today. And Madame Nazar's location is in Big Valley, right off the Little Creek River, right next to Hanging Dog Ranch, which is just a little bit to the north. And your fast travel destination of choice for today will actually be in Strawberry. And then just head north and you'll be able to find her no problem. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video as it really does help me out. It shows your support to the channel. And honestly, it really uh, that's, uh, helps me out a lot. shows your support. And honestly, it will help other people just because... If you guys were helped, there's a good chance that it could help get recommended to other people by you just leaving a like on this on this video. So definitely go ahead and do that. But I strongly recommend that you guys stay around for the rest of the video. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the collection sets and their current cycles. Now, this is an extremely good way of earning money as you can earn over $4,000 every single day with the collector roll. But I definitely recommend that you guys purchase the collector bag as soon as you possibly can. These do change every single day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are watching this video after that time frame, then you'll have to wait until Adam Nazar moves, and then I'll do a brand new update at that point. I like to go after the coins in the Lost Jewelry just because you do make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible. $540 per hour, about three to three and a half hours worth of work. So not bad. You can make $1,800. Bucks. Not, not too shabby in like three to three and a half hours of work. However, you do need the field shovel and also the metal detector in order to do that. So you'll need to have a little bit of money to put into this venture. But uh, coins uh, are going to be a part of cycle number five. And the, or the lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number six. Now the next two sets, arrowheads, cycle number one. And family heirloom, cycle number four, also require either the field shovel or and the metal detector. So, and or one of the two. Now the next four sets I'm actually about to go over. You don't even need to be a collector at all, but you do need a collector in order to sell them. So you're going to want to get that before you get 10 of any of these sets. We got American Wildflowers at cycle number five. We have Tarot Cards at cycle number six. Antique Alcohol Bottles at cycle number one. And then we got Bird Eggs at cycle number two. And that is all of the uh, collection sets and their current cycles. Uh, because this week's weekly collection set is all coins anyway. And I recommend that you just go after the entire set instead of just the three i just my opinion anyway let's go ahead and move on to the next thing and that's going to be talking about the daily challenges i'm going to quickly go over the list of them and then we're going to break them down so let's go ahead and do that right now we got five blackberries picked one cooked season exotic bird one flying bird killed with a sniper rifle three non-player enemies grappled to the ground one place top three in, in, with a score in a free roam events. We got one player kill from the hip in free roam event. Visited McFarland's Ranch. One completed special moonshine recipe. 4,827 distant moonshine wagon traveled while in a mission. We got one moonshine bar changed a core. Two goods sold to a distant buyer. Six large animal carcasses donated to Crips. $200 money made from trading. Three arrowheads found, six collectibles collected, three family heirlooms found, two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters, one bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left, and then last but not least, we got three bounty targets lassoed from horseback. Now, each and every single day, you guys have the opportunity of earning 11 gold bars here in Red Dead Online. There's two different requirements. The first requirement is to complete a challenge streak of at least 21 days in a row by just completing at least one daily challenge. Now the second requirement is to make sure that you guys have all of the current roles that are available and be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles as well. That'll give you guys 19. You can earn five gold bars from the daily general challenges and six gold bars from the daily role challenges. So 
Everybody has the exact same daily general challenges every single day, regardless of what rank you are. So some people will have a lot easier time to complete these, while some other people might not necessarily. But if you guys do have any questions regarding any of these, and if your roll daily challenges are different than mine, then please leave a comment down below so I can do my best to help you guys out. So let's go ahead and break these down. The first one on the list, if I remember right, yeah, blackberries. So I'm going to show you guys my go-to location, which is really close to where I'm currently at right now, which I do spend a lot of time right around Valentine lately. Probably for the last few months, to be honest. I spend a lot... Of, uh, I would say at least 80% of my time pretty much in New Hanover. I I would guess that is my percentage. My camp is always in New Hanover, and then I've, obviously I have my moonshine shack here but anyway let's get into the blackberries and we're going to come down to downs ranch which is right here if you guys go up a little bit to right about here now these locations are going to be exact but they will be pretty close there's going to be a blackberry bush right there a little bit south of the ranch like right about in here you got one more towards the ridge right here and another one up a little bit there is one down below but it's kind of hard to get to, but it is fairly close off of that path. If you guys come a little bit further down south, you guys will find another one right about here. You also find one up on, um, let's see, where am I at here? Uh, I think it's right here. And that should be a majority of the blackberry bushes that you guys will need. There are a couple more that are up here a little bit more towards the north. I know there's one right here next to this burnt down um, house and then there should be another one that's probably right next to the path right here so i gave you guys plenty of locations you guys just need to pick five um hopefully you guys can go ahead and do that with the locations that i gave we have one cooked seasoned exotic bird meat you can get your exotic bird meat from killing pelicans i know a couple people say that they haven't seen any pelicans there but it's where i go to get my pelicans at quaker cove south of blackwater basically dubbed as pelican island there's always pelicans during the day. Make sure you guys are going in the, during the day. I would probably say between 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock in, in game day. And then check that area. Otherwise, if it's before or after that, slightly before or slightly after that, look in the air and they might be flying around. And then you just need to kill one of them. If you can kill more, then you're going to get stockpiled on the exotic bird meat anyway. Because you can just break them down. And then you need seasoning. So you need thyme, oregano, or mint. Which you guys can find that pretty much anywhere. Mint will be anywhere near water. And where I like to go, again, is along the Dakota River. Because you can find thyme, oregano, and mint all along this on both sides of the river. And there's an abundance of it. Especially right next to Limpany, which is the burnt down complete town on the map. Alright. And then you just need to go to any um, fire. Any campfire and cook that. So you can use your own camp. You can go to Valent Valentine. There's one in Blackwater. Wherever you guys want to go. One flying bird killed with the rifle. You got basically your Carcano or your rolling black rifle or anything with a scope that's or considered a sniper rifle. So go ahead and do that. Um, we got three non-player enemies grappled to the ground. The best way to do that is find um, any NPC that is walking around solo. And I don't see any right now. But when they're walking around solo, yeah, right there in front of me, right up there, you just basically shoot their hat, their their house, shoot their house. To shoot their horse and they'll get upset with you and then you can um lasso them off their horseback and then or lasso them off their horseback right off the bat and then you would run up to them and then just grapple them next two are both the both revolving around free roam events now placing top three might be a little bit tricky for some people um and these aren't as common as like being able to do multiple showdowns in a row so kind of depending on who you get paired with as far as who else is in the free room event but you might get a lot of people that are really high rank and then you might get a next one that everybody's really low rank so it really just depends it's kind of the luck of the draw on that one and then one player kill from hip and free room event make sure that you're not aiming and just shoot at them the easiest one would be cold dead hands in my per my opinion, personal opinion but you can do that really in any one that's pvp related and then last but not least, we have to visit McFarland's Ranch, which you guys can just either ride down there, which is not that far away from Quaker's Cove, south of Blackwater, or you can just fast travel there. Either one will be just fine. We got completed a special moonshine recipe. 
you only have to complete it. You don't have to actually complete it. Now, if you've already started one, you're going to have to wait till it's completed. Then you're going to get that. Otherwise, you need to start the recipe and you'll actually get the award for completing it as well. So if you already have one that's complete, there's a slight possibility that you might get it again. It does happen from time to time, but uh, I wouldn't bank on it. The next one is to have a distance of 40, 4827 by Moonshine Wagon while in a mission. This is going to be equivalent to two distant, or not two distant, but two deliveries of Moonshine. So it's going to take a little bit of time because you have to do one, deliver it, run back to the uh, run back to the Moonshine Shack, start another one, and then wait anywhere between a half an hour and an hour to get that one completed. The next one is the Moonshine Bar. You just got to change the decor. If you guys have changed the theme or purchased the theme, let's change it back to the basic one. Or what you guys can go ahead and do is just change a painting, and that will work just fine. We have two goods sold to a distant buyer. This will take anywhere between like 10 and 15 minutes to do that. And it just has to be two goods at the camp. As long as you have that, you're going to be able to sell it to a distant buyer um, and make that gold. Um, and a little bit of money, depending on how much you have. Now, just keep in mind that if, anytime that you guys do distant deliveries, you guys are asking for a lot of trouble because you guys can be seen at a very long distance away that you guys are doing a sell. And obviously, if it takes 10 to 15 minutes for you to get across the map, somebody in that time has a good opportunity of actually, I'm going to call it griefing, because you guys, nobody actually has to go after somebody else that has put time and energy into doing a camp. My opinion. We got six large animal carcasses donated to Crips. Uh, anything on the back of the horse. So cougar, panther, deer, pronghorn. Those are probably wolves. That's pretty much the best ones. We have $200 money made from trading. If you guys want to do a full 100 distant one. And then try to make it $200 at the same time. I'm going to completely leave it up to you. Not advised, but whatever you guys want to do. Arrowheads. Collectibles collected. Six of those. And then... Three family heirlooms. Again, the arrowheads are going to be a part of cycle number one. And the family heirlooms will be a part of cycle number four. And once you guys collect these arrowheads and the family heirlooms, you'll get six of them collected. We have two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. So sand and knee or roads. One bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more or left. Or minutes or more left. So basically just do a bounty hunt as fast as you possibly can. And then three bounty targets lasso from horseback. So make sure that you're on your horseback when you lasso them. And that's all you need to do. And then you can actually release them after you've lassoed them. And then go after them and grapple them to hog tie them. So as long as you start originally by lassoing them from horseback, you'll get credit for this one. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. They actually do seem relatively easy for today. But if you guys do have any questions, then by all means leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out. I do live stream every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, guys, check out my times on the website. If you guys are looking on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, those times that are listed are the right times that I will be going live. And I will update it if, for whatever reason, I'm not able to stream for that day. Or I will change the time from time to time. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video in any way or found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.